a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. What's up, guys? Master Styles here, back with another Eternal Revolution video. And today we're on the free to play account. And I'm gonna continue my conversation about Daniel. I'll talk a little bit about the new heroes and kind of how I wanna go about making videos about them. Because again, they only have but so much information about the new heroes. And I don't wanna put out a video only for them to drop the skills and their animation video. So before I continue, I just wanna say thank you guys for helping me get into 200 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for subbing. Now let's get to the video. First off, let's take a look at Daniel here. He is now immortal. We got him to immortal. And let's activate his talents here. So some, uh, it's interesting because I didn't even activate these talents. I don't really use them. I don't. I don't use Daniel, but now today we're going to see what it looks like when you get to the second tier. I have what I need. I always forget to do this. Let's go back and convert this. Oh, convert that. And now we'll see what the second here it's not in oh yeah it's an awakening perfect so we take that put that there boom now he's at awakening two i'm assuming so i wanted to see what this would look like is it a leveling system or is it just that okay also oh, it is a leveling system so you get three tiers okay so again like i said if you are gonna do this it only makes sense that you do hero rally along with it because you're gonna need that dust. Because if you don't have the dust, you're not you're not gonna be able to level these. And I already talked about that in a previous video that if you unlock this, you're gonna need the additional dust to activate it. So so far we have him here at two. And for me, you know, I don't really know if I'm gonna use him. Because again, let, let's see here. So is this something we're struggling with? We're going to take uh, Matoko here and put Daniel in. I don't need this. Is how you know I don't use him. I don't even have good gears on him. But let's try this one and see. To see if he really makes any bit of a difference here. And obviously, you know, him being awakened. Two, we still don't really get to see much because you need to get to at least five to start seeing him make a difference. But again, actually, you know what? No, I know what to do. I know where to, I know exactly where to to bring Daniel. Let's, let's check it out. So I haven't beat 14 yet. And let's see if Daniel helps. My summoner team over here isn't that great. So bear with me here. We're gonna take out Makoto here, even though she's my biggest damage dealer. Nord's probably gonna die instantly. He's probably gonna get wiped out here. So we're gonna switch over to the summoner piece here. And I think Nord's gonna die. He's gonna get one shot. I can, I'm calling it right now. He should be dead, yep. I thought so. But let's see here how we do. Is Daniel going to make a difference? Probably not. My healer is dead, so. We're not really ready for this one. We're not. We're just not. I know we're not. I already knew it coming in. But let's see what what 13 looks like. Because again, Nord, Nord dying there, it just, it's just frustrating. And I use Tarash because again, he provides damage reduction, but his throw tends to mess everything up. Uh, and obviously I can use more summoners, but they won't survive the jump. So that's kind of the hard part about this one is how do you display what he can do while at the same time, you know, keeping him alive. And for me, yes, I can go back. Let's go back here. I can bring him to, I can bring him to EX30. I can, 
hyper evolve him. But again, I'm like, am I really going to invest that much into Daniel? I do like this uh, arrow here. So I guess it's arrow, arrow down, arrow down, and then it fills all the way up. So that's kind of cool. But I wanted to make a video to show you what the next level looks like. And of course, this is the amount of limited tickets I have. I have zero limited tickets. I went from 150 to zero. So again, I just wanted to show you guys what the second tier is looking going to look like and much you're gonna need a lot of this to complete all of this and that's the frustrating part because it's like outside of there the only place your training room you're not even gonna get this i don't even know why they even put it in a training room because you're not going to get that you're going to get the daniel shards so and i'm not spending any money on this this account so in a hundred dollars we're not even going to talk about that because that don't even make any sense but this is the goal is to get to five here where we get a different ultimate is this the different ultimate yeah there's so much there's a lot here there's a whole bible right there down here is where the good stuff is but just to show you guys that if you get to two you're gonna need more stardust and why do I keep calling it Stardust? It's not Stardust. It's... I'll just call it Dust. Just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys what the second level looks like. And is it really worth it? I would say if you really if you're really gonna invest in the summer team, because again, I don't really have it here, but now that we're here on my main account, this is the summer team, right? You get Daniel to awaken five. Just an example. I'm not saying that mine's is. Who do you replace? Right? They come out with a new summoner. Who do you replace? If the new summoner does not come with heal and a lot of summons, who do you replace? Because you just now invested in Dan. It's because if you take out Anpu, you're gonna have to take out Cervelli. Cause then you might as well just put in a healer and i think cervelli would be the person to go because if you have your awakened daniel at five then there's no point of using cervelli and you know cervelli helps out on damage the new summoner needs to heal and provide a lot of summon so we can still keep on on the team for right now Cervelli is still going to be here. And then I think once they rework Cervelli, she's most likely going to make a resurgence. For me, I'm not going to awaken Daniel on this account because it's too much. It's way too much to invest in. And I have too many other heroes that I'm focusing on for me to now spread myself thin and burn through my limited tickets to wake up Daniel. It's not really worth it for me. You know, obviously my summoner team would definitely use that, but again, it's just too much. So for me, I'm holding on to my limited tickets over here. Let's open this up since you guys are here. Let's open this up, see what we get. We get six and two of those, that's good. We have enough and I'm going to make another purchase here. Let's go into the store. We have four and Hell Arena will buy four. I have six and then we'll do a pull and close out the video. Hopefully we get lucky here, recruit and get something good. If we don't get none, hopefully we get some shards. But again, on this account, I'm not doing the awakening. Just don't see the need. Two shards, maybe another one. And we get a copy of Anpu. Perfect. That's the way to end out talking about summers. <laughs> I, I can't make this up myself. Boom. Just like that. Let's bring them up. Boom. So if you're new to my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And for those that have been rocking with me, make sure you hit the like button. And until the next video, peace.